What is up guys and girls, I am Virtual Peaks and welcome back to some Planet Nomads. Oh, I am already like 30 minutes into my recording because I decided it would be a great idea to go to my two drill locations. But look at I realise that that is a 20 minute round trip. Fun times. Bless. Anyway, we do actually have an absolute arse ton of silicon and carbon now. If anything, iron's the one thing I'm sure of now. So, with that being said, I think it's about time that we started work on maybe making an actual vehicle construction bay oh god oh wait that's the half hour save that's why so making a vehicle construction what exactly how how am I gonna go about this because whatever I do I need it to be Either next to or away from. Actually, you know what? Ooh. Right. So that thing is kind of arbitrary at the moment. Don't really need that. Um. Oh, damn brain. Also, I'm pretty certain. Just got to double check this, but I'm pretty certain that you can't put hobby jacks. There they are. No. You see, I always find that really weird. That you can't put hobby jacks onto the um, foundations or anything. Yeah, you can put ordinary jacks on it, perfectly fine, and that doesn't cause a problem. Right, there we go. Just get rid of that rain, because, oh my word, that was loud. So yeah, that's annoying, but I can probably deal with that. Um... The question is, how do I want to deal with this? Because, um, I mean, that thing came out pretty freaking wide. In fact, I wouldn't mind betting. Okay, so let, let's say that a foundation is two ceiling panels wide. The hell? Why are you that way? There we go. Also, I love that I can reach that from here. Right, so. Let's have a little look. From the widest possible point, we are what? Maybe one. Yeah, so one, two, three. So we're. A... If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say that that thing is about at its widest which is this back section, is about two foundation point plates wide. Which, pretty much, the, or the slight bit of overhang is the entire middle section of this. Oh boy. Um... 
Okay, that's... That is slightly problematic. Hmm. So, I mean, what is... <sighs> See, I would love to actually have a vehicle, const like a proper official vehicle construction bay, but with the fact that, for a start, I can't put them on foundation plates, doesn't help. That already makes it kind of awkward. Have I? Yeah, I thought I did. And then to add to that, I do have a tendency to build things rather large. I'm honestly debating whether or not I should add another one to that. So let's take that quickly. Um, and shove that in. Right, should I add another one to this? Ah, what the hell. Oh god. Of course, I don't have any of the things that I need because that's about standard for me. She get in the habit of just randomly making things just for this sheer hell of it. I'm gonna round that up to ten. I'm actually gonna start overproducing things on purpose just so I can get a stockpile of them going. And I can also shove that on. Oh god, you're not even... Well, it's a good thing I need to go back up there for the components anyway, because... Ugh. So I'm starting to think maybe I should actually put a second one of these in. Hmm. Some. Let's just get round the back here for a second. How difficult would it be for me to pipe that in? Where is the printer? I have lost the 3D printer. There it is. Right, so... Right, so assuming... That is actually pretty much lined up. Um, all right, so wait, did I need? Oh my, I actually did need them as well. Uh, you know what? Round it up to five. There you go. I can't believe I'm actually having to make a second 3D printer. And then I'm going to have to... Oh, God. That means I'm going to have to create more piping. Ugh. There we go. Right, so that means that I should be able to build things over there. I've just realised that's actually going to be way too bloody close. 
You know what, it's fine, because I can just kind of be that. Now, hopefully, that should reach. Ah, it does. Cool. What kind of distance does that give me now? Oh, that is a much better range. I mean, it's not an enormous improvement, but it's still better than it was. It'll do. Right, so. I need to switch over to that, so that it's the same colour. Actually, you know what? I quite like the red art thing that we've got going on here, so I'm going to make all of my machines red. Because I do like what we've got going on there. Okay then, time to deal with chaos and bullshittery. How the hell am I going to pipe you in. Right, for a start, I already need more frames. I am also going to need... I know that's more than I actually need, but you know what? Screw it. Just make ten of everything. Now, I think... That's about in line. Right, uh, I do briefly need to just mess with that. There we go. And then... Lovely. So I... Sh should, in theory, now actually have to what, once I get it all finished piped and stuff, and actually hook it up to the power, I just realised that would probably be immensely helpful, wouldn't it? So, I think... Yeah, I'm pretty certain that is the power supply, so let's get that hooked up. Good god, this is actually getting to be a bit of a maze around here. The amount of pipes I have is ridiculous. Good god, no. Go away. Thank you. Don't like it when it rains. Don't like it when it rains because it gets bloody noisy. I don't like noisy. Mostly because it makes editing a pain in the ass. Because then I have to fiddle with turning myself up and the game down and... Bleh. Right, so... What exactly do I not have? I've got Mark IV of that, Mark IV of that, and Mark IV of that. Which is everything, basically. Although I don't have a pulse defense right. God. That's not the one that I needed to build. That's the one I needed to build. Wait, so... That has 250 and... 445... That has... Oh, 
Right, okay, so that's... Wait. No way is that Mark II multi-tool more effective than Pulse of Defense, right? The actual thing that was designed... Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have, like, five of those. So, while that's doing a thing... So look at that. Much better. Now I can actually do, like, multiple different things at once. Instead of doing one at a time, I can do more than one at a time. I nearly fell down my hole that leads into the water. Actually, that reminds me. I should be able to get to it through this. Water pump. Eh. It's not doing bad. Because I need a whole bunch of water so that I can power my car basically because you know carrying what are you gonna do all right okay so that's gonna take three minutes that's okay that's not a problem what I can do in the meantime I was going to say I could take this out, but I don't want to burn up the fuel, because it doesn't really have a whole lot in there. And I kind of really actually need that fuel. Mm. That's a little bit of a pain. Also, I am now realising that I seem to have everything jammed onto one side. Probably should have thought that through. Oh well. Also, I need to go see how this ludicrous drill over here is doing. Good Jesus. This drill, it grabs so much. Right, out of all of these drills, it's just overtiming it massively. I've no idea why. Alright, are you done yet? Not even remotely. I just remembered. For the last god knows how many videos now. I've been meaning to do more in this area, because I was going to stick a, a uh, solar farm at the back here, so that, you know, should all of these m generators in the middle ever go down, the base will never actually stop working. With the exception to whatever the fuck that's powering, though. I don't think he's powering anything. Oh, okay. I see what that's powering the, um... Wait, I've got that entire thing powering the hover jack. Enough. I've also got this one that's not actually doing anything. I don't know what that one's meant to be doing. That's supposed to be the light one. Yeah, do you know what? I think at some point I need to work on the um, solar farm and then I can actually get this place properly powered up. Wow. And with all my chatting away, I've um, 
successfully whittled enough time down. That if I do that, hey, look, it's done. Right, so I wonder what that's that third slot's for. Right, so I. It's not R, I think, if I remember rightly, it's Q? Yes, Q. And then, yeah, it's T for the tool and Q for the rifle. So, let's load up some ammo into this. And go head along into battle and see what actually happens. I honestly don't know what to expect from this thing because last time I used it, it was pretty terrible. Um, sure, why don't we start on you? I want a comparison actually. Um, sure, let's do this one first. I can't actually tell if that's hitting it or not. Um. Right. That. That didn't seem all that effective. Okay, so now. I mean, I know we've obviously got a bit of a difference in distance on the fact that, you know, range, but let's see how this thing works. Um, I'm going to vote significantly worse. Yeah, that's definitely significantly worse. Right, go off we go. <laughs> oh, get out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna say the especially because of the range that thing is significantly worse so uh, obviously the numbers that I was reading no I don't know how to read them at all don't know what they're on about so let us build 20 of those which means that I'm gonna need a whole arse ton of these um, let's build 20 of that And you've got those in you. Uh, tell you what. While you're at it, build some extra frames and plates. And also some extra computers, because why not? May as well. Right, so, um, and obviously I've got a lot of jewels supplying this thing with the basic materials, so. Yep, could definitely do with some fire matter in there. Uh, what was it, 20 a time? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, off we go. Oh, pardon me. That kind of came out of nowhere. 
Right, so let's have a look. See look. So uh, I believe this takes twenty a time. Yes. So I should be able to get. Obviously, I need 200 out of that. And then, I sh that should be about 10 deuterium, I think. I hope I've matched that correctly. And the only problem with having multiple printers is that it is now an extra thing for me have to keep the ID. Oh, looks like. Hey, look at that. Much better. Right, so I actually have multi tool and a gun now. I've actually got a way to deal with um, the wildlife and stuff. And there's also plenty of leftover crap. Ugh, alas. How are you doing? You're done. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's that building now. Yeah, that's that's not gonna do that those two hundred anytime soon, so I need to work out what it is I'm actually gonna do about this. Because I don't think I mean, I'm not certain about this, but I'm pretty sure that you can't have, yeah, you can't have multiple switchboards going into one battery. So, essentially, what I need is some sort of central switch for that. A bit that all of the um, solar panels will go into. And then that will go into the batteries. And it also split off to those two over there. So that they can then split off into the different things. Right. Some of this I can already do. I, I can already disconnect the electric there, reconnect it there, and then Wait, what the hell are you connected to? Okay, so that's connected to that extra light? Wait, so if I disconnect that... Yeah. Okay. So... Wait, what? Okay, so that's that light. That's the battery. So if I disengage that, these lights should... Turn... Off. But they're not.
Okay, so that's a completely separate system. That should be an entirely separate system. Self powers and everything. I have no idea what any of you are connected to. Probably nothing. Yep, I've got a whole bunch of solar panels up here that aren't connected to anything. Fantastic. Well then, okay, so that broke, that was interesting. Um, but yeah, I was actually going to do my outro anyway, before the recording software, I was just like, nah, <laughs> so, fun times. But that being said, that does it for this video, so thank you for watching, if you like this video, hit that like button, say awesome, as always, and I'll see you lot in the next video!